As a declaration, we stand with Malami Arewa Youth. The Arewa Youth Assembly has said that the Asaba declaration that banned the open grazing of cattle is totally unacceptable and threw its weight behind the position of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice Malami against the Southern Governor. Describing the declaration as myopic and unpatriotic, Arawa Youth Assembly, in a statement signed by Mohamed Saliu Danlami, Speaker of the Assembly, said, Nigeria is a sovereign territory governed by a defined enacted constitution which states that every citizen has the right to live and go about his legal business in any part of the country. The youth said cattle rearing is one of such legal businesses that is traced back thousands of years with many benefits to the Nigerian economy and Africa at large. Really? Let, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Let us. This is youth, right? Let us talk. Um... The only business and the only reason why the amalgamation of the Northern Protectorate and the Southern Protectorate of Nigeria happened, why, is because the Northern Protectorate, even though, yes, they are nomadic and they do cattle wearing for so many years, it was not sufficient to sustain its economy. But however, however, on the other hand, the Southern part of Nigeria was so industrial, making good money, GDP was high, living standards were high, very much better. And of course, Lord Lugard was like, wow, why should a British colony... Um, not be able to sustain itself. So what did they do? They joined them together. The basis for our tolerance or our, or our, what's the called of our um, habitation together is just the fact that we need we needed funds. The, the the northern part needed funds to sustain itself. So funds were transferred from the southern part to the northern part, and that has been the plan. That was the plan. That was the original plan. That was the foundation which set the president to what Nigeria is right now. So yes, so yes, yes, it was economically good for you at a time, but things change. At the end of the day, there has to be rule and there has to be law and there has to be order. The fact is you can have many businesses, but the fact that you are under a constitution means that businesses can be regulated. Collusion can be regulated. Illegal cartels, whatever, can work. They cannot. But in a way, when it comes to regulations of businesses, they can't be regulated as long as you are in a mixed economy with government inter intervention. That's what it is. So before you try and come and speak English for all of us here, we know what we're doing and we know how we got to this point. So don't come with the backing of, oh, it's the legal. No, 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 no. It's legal, but then it's regulated as well. It's a business because things can get out of hand. How does it make sense to take cows and trespass into someone's private property, not only destroy crops, but then harass owners of that property? Or does it even make sense that you carry cows and they, they, they pass, they, they use the same path as um as what as ca uh, cars and vehicles passing um traffic lights does that make sense does that signify that there's any sort of you know order if that is the life that you want to live where you can be nomadic and do that absolutely that is absolutely fine i'm not going to come here and judge and say oh it is local or da -da -da. do your thing however you cannot the northern part of the, and the southern part of Nigeria are literally different countries. So again, it's like there's you go to certain places, as they say, you go to Rome, act like a Roman. You come to the southern of Nigeria, you act like a southern Nigeria, and that is it. Because we are very much different in our culture and the way we see things. So if the law says this is it, that if you want to open grace and you want to legally do your business, what do you do? You buy your land, you buy your own land, you employ workers, and you do your grazing there. Open grazing does not make sense. In the southern part of Nigeria or at all. If you want to do that, go and get your own land and do that there. Open grazing just is just like how, as Nigerians would call it, quote, anywhere Beleface. That is how it's described. And it's just has no structure to it. You're in a country, not in a you know, zoo, you're not in a marketplace. Calm down. Oof. So the youth said Katuron is one of such legal businesses that is traced back thousands of years with many many benefits to the Nigerian economy and Africa at large. The business is enjoyed not only by the cattle wearers but the whole of humanity. Some of these benefits include a source of income to individuals and nation at large, creation of jobs, boosting of agricultural sector as well as a source of nutrition. Is it though? Banning open grazing is automatically putting a stop to all these benefits and termination of people's source of livelihoods. Thus we are highly disappointed and frowned at the southern governor's decision to ban open grazing it is unfortunate and sad for such utterances to be coming from elder statesmen and chief security officers 
of, of various states. But then you supporting Malami means that you support ethnic slur, you support marginalization, and you support discrimination and prejudice. All right, so we know what your values are and what you stand for. We're not going to push. So they continue and say, we call on federal government to swing to continuous action, protect and protect the lives and property of genuine cattle rearers going about their legal businesses, moving from one community to another in search of suitable feed for their livestock in southern part of the country. Oh, gosh. The, they called on the Northern Governors Forum, Northern Elites and all that um, to checkmate the activities of Southerners residing in the Northern Nigeria, alleging that many of them were involved in so many illegal businesses brought to the peaceful region. Peaceful? These activities happen to be propelling or be the propelling force of insecurity in the Northern Nigeria today. That has resulted in the backwardness of northern Nigeria, loss of properties worth millions of billions of dollars, loss of precious and promising lives. If the southern governors will continue with the Asaba declarations, then we will be compelled to redefine the activities of southerners residing in the north, they said. All right. You see, now, there is a diff it's a different thing when we try to... We, 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 well, people say, comp comp I don't even know how to say it. But when we try to look at a body of people and we, we, we try not to be prejudiced or we try not to make it um, a micro issue, but a macro issue in which we use their leaders as representation for that macro issue, the fact just remains that you supporting Malami, you're going with ethnic slurs. And if we try to do the same, it would be more of a personal attack, which again, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know how to put it, but it is like, how can you be so passionate? How can you be so passionate, so dead passionate about the illegal dealings of northerners or herdsmen in the south of the country than you are with terrorist harassment for more than 10 years when 300 kids were kidnapped from certain schools in the northern part of the country this group you guys were silent why is it that all of a sudden you're very vocal when it comes to this issue why are you vocal now that see this is the issue we're talking about there's certain things that are not worth putting energy to because you might assume that people will see it in the same way. But again, you can't do that because, again, we are all different. Fine. However, you can't... Ban on open grazing is not ban on grazing in general. If you're grazing, you buy your own land, you put your cows there and you graze and you supply them with whatever, whatever and make sure okay, the land is fertile. You do what you can to make sure the land and they can eat there. Fine. What is the... Do, if you want to go agricultural, why is it that you can't open graze in the northern part of the country and why do you have to be nomadic for this business to work it is because the land or the soil there is not again northern part of nigeria you're basically going into like desert like sort of um ecosystem there is basically desert like there isn't a lot of fertile ground for cows to feed on not that it is a bad thing or not that I can understand that. Okay, fine. That is the reason why you have to be nomadic. Again, there are laws and their principles. You cannot go to somebody else's land, barge into private property. You see, the farm land that you are going into, you think, you think they're just open. They are owned by people or not the government. So I don't understand where all this is coming from. And to be honest, the fact is all this is just unnecessary. As the Arawa youth, I'm no offense but is this the issues that you want to represent i mean come on fine you can you don't there are ways to go about certain things and this was not the way that is it it really wasn't the way and it's just the hypocrisy of it all because it is not like as if the herders are dying or anything in fact the people are dying as a result of the herders in the southern part of the country however you have kids in your region who are getting kidnapped every single day you have people who are joining terrorist organizations they have bases where you are and you don't protest maybe fix that first put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>